Captain's report, February 4th, 2531. Five years. Five long years. That's how long it took us to get Harvest back. Go, go, go! it was going well, then setback after setback. Loss after loss. Made what was going to be a quick and decisive win. Into five years of hell. Of course, that's all Harvest is today. It's hell down there. But now it's ours again. Serena, status. Standard orbit achieved. All systems normal. Prep for pod launches, bring weapon systems online. Expecting trouble, Captain? Harvest may be ours again, but I don't think the Covenant appreciate that yet. Sergeant Forge, report. Definitely plenty of bad guys down here, Captain. And they found something in the ice. Damn it. That complicates our mission. Anders, what have you got? Captain. Scans of the northern polar regions show some interesting Covenant activity on the surface. There's some kind of structure down there. What do you think they're looking for? That's what we're here to find out. We're to bring Alpha Base up to operational status and take control of that site. I'll get my equipment ready, Captain. Lady, there's no way you're coming down here on the first burn. Sergeant Forge, pull back to Alpha Base. I'm sending you some backup. Roger that. Forge out. So, nothing too difficult then? It might be the key to this whole war, Serena. It's worth the risk. Let's just take one last look-see. The Hierarchs grow impatient. We can delay no longer. What if the infection defiles the relic? I care not for your little life. Open the relic. What made you choose my observation deck as your lab, Professor? I like the view. It adds perspective to my work. <laughs> Forge doesn't think it's safe for you to go down there yet. He's quite insistent. I can be quite insistent too, Captain. I can take care of myself. Any idea what it is we've got down there? It's all theories right now, and I'll know a lot more once I get down there. 
I'm approving the mission, but the slightest sign of danger and I'm pulling you out. Is that understood? Understood, Captain. Hierarch, the humans are closing and will soon be upon us. No matter. The information you have gathered here is most appetizing. However, we must protect what we have learned here. Set the charges and destroy this place. Destroy this holy relic, surely you just- The journey requires sacrifice! Set the charges, return to us! Our patience is not infinite! It will be done. Sergeant, is this what the aliens were after? Seems so, ma'am. They sure paid a price trying to defend it. All quiet now. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now that's not what I expected. Heresy! Remove this filth! Take cover! These guys just don't know when to quit. did was point here. In the 30 seconds I had to examine the artifact? Yes. All it did was point at a second star system. Arcadia colony, to be precise. Population a little under 3 million. Largely unexplored, but apparently quite the vacation resort. There's something there, Captain. And I think it's important that we get to it before the Covenant do. Our orders are to investigate Harvest. We still don't know a lot about what's going on down there. I understand that, Captain, but everything I see here tells me that we need to get to Arcadia to figure this out. Very well, Professor. I'll clear it with Admiral Cole. Serena, set course for Arcadia. Aye, sir. Crazy mystery trip to Arcadia plotted in, spinning up FTL drive. Serena, get out of my lab. Serena, situation update, please. Two Covenant vessels came out of slip space near Arcadia. The Belfast, Pillar of Autumn, Texas, and Armstrong engaged immediately and caught one with its shields down. We lost the Texas and Belfast. The Armstrong is venting atmosphere and Autumn is badly damaged. The second vessel is engaged in surface activity. What kind of surface activity? Unknown. Wait, I'm getting a signal. Audio only. Getting visuals now, Captain. Serena, launch pods. Bring the ship to alert. So... It's an energy shield that they can deploy on the planet. Yes, Captain. We can't see through it, but the Covenant are up to something. Agreed. We need to find out what that is. Can we use the ship's cannons and take it out directly? We may destroy whatever's under there. Covenant shield technology is susceptible to superheated plasma. Aren't we field testing some plasma-based rhinos? Pillar of Autumn inventory shows they have some prototypes. It may take some time to get the right power settings. I'll need to be on the ground to do that. Professor, Sergeant Forge, let's get that shield down. Ah, babysitting again? Abyssal, 
You are unusually quiet. What troubles occupy your thoughts? Hierarch, I did not wish to be impudent, but you have charged me with the destruction of humanity. A most noble cause for one with such a troubled past. And I am thankful for my task. But sire, you have me skulk in ancient ruins and search empty temples. How does this help me accomplish my goal? The war with the humans will require a great deal many more machines than we can currently muster. I will take what we have. And leave us defenseless? No. The ancients will provide for us. This world shall be the birthplace for an invasion fleet beyond imagining. Enough to crush the humans quickly and with ease. But this world lies dormant. It is just a shell. Blasphemy! The key will be found with patience. But perhaps there is a quicker way. The human female from the Ice Relic. She has some knowledge in this regard. The new planet the Relic has led us to has also led her. Capture that human and bring her here. It will be done. Hey, how about one for the scrapbook, Professor? If you don't mind, Sergeant, I'm trying to document this area for study. You will come with me. Why don't we put the lady down and talk about this man to freak? As you wish. Stop! Anders, get out of here! I'll come quietly if you let him live. Okay. Spirit of Fire, this is Forge. I lost Anders. What happened? Some massive elite came out of nowhere. Captain, I'm tracking her transponder. It's heading away from the planet. Damn it. Sergeant, get up here on the double. Already en route, sir. We're all accounted for. Why haven't we left yet? Why aren't you in the med bay, Sergeant? The Professor's signal has gone to light speed, headed for the border. That puts it outside weapon range. What? We have to go after her. Sir, I can only track that transponder a few more seconds. Captain! Sir, Anders represents a significant security breach. Serena, get us underway immediately. Follow that signal. Aye, aye, sir. So, we left a note saying we're leaving, right? Where the hell are we, Serena? We're in orbit around a planet in the middle of... Actually, I'm still working on that, sir. Anders? The Covenant vessel we pursued appears to have taken cover on the planet's surface. I have rough coordinates. Any sign of other Covenant activity? Not that I can detect. Although this world is giving off some pretty crazy readings. <sighs> Get Forge down there. I believe he's already aboard a Pelican, awaiting your word. This is her. Yes, Hierarch. This is the one I observed. Such a frail thing. You would hardly think them a threat. I demand to know why I'm being held. <laughs> demand. Arbiter, a human ship has arrived and is closing in on the entrance port. <laughs> Give the Hierarch to High Charity. Intercept that human ship and destroy it at once.
Nothing but ocean. Are you sure this is it, Serena? Fairly sure. Initiating a deep scan. Ducking. Cleansing. Uh, that's not right. Captain, you're not going to like this. <laughs> Serena, Captain, we've got company. All hands engage. Serena, I've got troops out there still. Get them back on board now. Captain, I can only hold this position a few minutes at the most. Now, Serena! Recalling the surface squad so we can all die together. Aye, sir. This is all part of the plan. Right, guys? We're inside the planet. out pretty well. The overloaded FTL reactor will cause a chain reaction in the sun. Enough to destroy all the ships here before the Covenant can get a chance to make anything from them. Well, put simply, Captain, our reactor will cause the sun to go supernova, leaving nothing here but dust. That's the weak part of this plan, if you ask me. We've no way home without that reactor. One problem at a time, Serena. If the Covenant get their hands on these ships, it will mean the end of the war. We'll take our chances here, to give humanity some hope. I know it's been a tough call, Captain. But it's the right one. Spirit of Fire, this is Forge. She's buttoned up and ready to go. Deliver that package safely, sir. 
Sergeant. Keep the coffee hot. I'll be back before you know it. I'll be monitoring you from here, Sergeant. Well, it'll be pretty obvious if he succeeds. Gentlemen, we're burning sunshine here! For the record, I would have kicked your ass the first time if the lady hadn't stopped me. Sir, it's already overheating. I'll have to separate the core and align them manually when they need to blow. Son, I have a feeling before this is over, we'll need every last Spartan in the fight. I can do this. Report back to the ship. Good luck, sir. It's been an honor. I would much rather stay awake to monitor this area. Professor, there's been no sign of the Covenant for almost two weeks. There's nothing to do. But Captain... But nothing, Professor. You got us all out of there alive. Get some rest. Not all of us, Captain. 
not all of us. Just over 28 years. I've made quite a few repairs while you were sleeping. So ship systems are 100%. Cryo worked well, and med stats on all remaining crew are green. As for me, well, regulations are clear about final dispensation at the end of an AI's seven year lifespan. I took care of my own arrangements rather than wake you. I didn't want to... Well, I hope you can forgive this final breach of protocol. It was a pleasure and an honor to serve with you, sir. Do look after everyone for me, would you? Goodbye, Captain. Serena out. I need to get down there. Immediately, of course. Good morning to you, too, Professor. I'm sorry, Captain. It's good to see you, too. But just look at it. What is it? And where are we? Uh, no idea. Our astro-navigation system can't pinpoint a location. We're not on the map anymore. <laughs> We didn't drift out of the galaxy in 28 years, Professor. Since the records show we arrived via slip space less than an hour ago? Our slip space drive is gone. However we got here, it wasn't us who initiated the trip. Something down there... ...must have opened the portal from this end and pulled us in. Signal to my location, Lieutenant. Let's hear what they have to say. Security measures would advance without us. But it is coming through on a UNSC frequency. This is good. When we left, the war wasn't going well. The signal means the UNSC is still fighting, or maybe we even won. What's the source of the transmission? We don't have the surface details yet, sir. Something down there is blocking our scans, and without Serena... But... We... Do have a rough... Location. Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up the signal from the ground. Cutter to Jerome. Reporting, Captain. Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. Find out who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Roger that, yet. Yeah. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. That's 
see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. Identify. Isabel, UNSC Logistics, Arc Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant force here? Covenant? No, why would... Listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh, no. What was that? It's him. You're coming with us. Danger close. On our location. Trailing north. Commence five seconds. Isabel, this is Captain Cutter. I know who you are. James Cutter. Captain of the Spirit of Fire. You're supposed to be lost with all hands. Not so lost, it seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. Isabel? Isabel, report. <laughs> Sir. 
Five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The Brute. Their leader. His name is Atriox. During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. Forty at a time, they carelessly sent them in. Forty to break the front lines. Forty to die for beliefs not their own. None ever returned. Until he did. And so battle by battle, war by war, 39 brothers at a time. Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. And his defiance inspired others. strength with each attack, gathering killers and mercenaries to his side. The Covenant had two targets in those years, humanity and Atriox. They almost got us, but Atriox, they never came close. The whole damn Covenant couldn't contain him at the height of their power. What you're up against and all you've got is one old ship and half a crew to staff her we need to run as far and as fast as we can we are just one ship and an old one at that but here we are 30 years past what anyone could ask of us our war is gone the lives we had are gone. The worlds we knew have moved on. And now, all that we may have left are those standing beside us. And the duty that defines us, battle after battle, fighting side by side, together. Where you see half a crew, Isabel, I see family, courage, and a thousand heroes who swore to fight their way through hell before they'd ever, ever turn their backs and run. And where you see one old ship, I see home. And that is always worth fighting for. <laughs> Atriox now, we leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. So 
don't know, Isabel. We won't be running anywhere today. Sir, yes, sir. update on the arc. Starboard guns are down. Black Module 3 has internal fires. Poked the nest, didn't we? We did. Evacuate and vent. How long can we keep this up? Not long. We're losing too many guns. At this rate, it'll be over soon. I think I found a way to get help. You can reopen our portal? No. We're going to Mega Halo. What? I've discovered the Ark keeps an almost finished ring in its central forges at all times. It's an emergency replacement in case one of the other rings breaks down. Rings? You must mean galaxy-destroying super weapons, right? Well, on that front, I figured out how to disable the ring's firing mechanism. We can only launch it to one of the locations of the original rings, however. Isabel, you said the Master Chief first found a ring near enough to reach. That would make it within range of a comms beacon. It could work. Anders, how long do you need? Twelve hours, if my calculations are correct. We don't have twelve hours, Professor. We might not have twelve minutes. We just can't beat that right now. I can. I'm gonna need a little help, though. Explain. Well, for starters, I need her down there with me. Isabel? Sorry, sir. I've been on the Ark a while. After recent battle reports, you should have figured out that there are rules around here. I intend to break one. A big one. We'll need to split ground forces between these two locations to buy me some time. You're taking control of ground forces now? Buy you time for what? That ship brought these monsters. Killed everyone I was supposed to protect. Now it wants to do the same to you. I won't let that happen. Time to show them what power really means around here. Side seats before. Let's get to work. Our entrance wasn't exactly subtle. Okay. I just need to find their. Troops below are clear. I'm starting now. I promise you won't leave without me.
done. Time to go home. Whoa. You've been busy? Not as busy as you. The grav lift. What do we do? You. You hold on. Wait, what? I'll do respect, Spartan. I don't believe that's an option any longer. Professor Anders, there must be some way... Don't worry, Captain. As soon as I'm back to the Sol system, I'll get that beacon out. It should only be a few weeks. Professor! Until I can figure out how to get back to you. Captain? The other teams are clear? Yes, sir. ETA to the Spirit of Fire is five minutes. Bring up the map. We have a lot of work to do until she gets back. I kept it. Salvage the ships. That is it. Atriox was clear. I'll look around. And if we find prizes to bring back. <laughs> 
How could that go wrong? Voridus, listen. You fail him one more time trying to prove yourself, and I will not be able to save you. And it will be both our skulls beneath his mace. Relax, brother.